Hello students, uh, today we will uh, discuss uh, remote, uh, remote login and file transfer protocols. So, what is remote login protocols? Remote loading, uh, login protocols are the communication protocols that allows user to access and interact with computer or a server from remote locations. Means here, uh, remote lo login protocols allows the user to access anywhere uh, there is a no need to physically present there. Uh, for example, I am the admin uh, of the particular organization and I want, on, want to change uh, some, uh, I want to make changes in a system. So, uh, I am located in the main office and I want to change, uh, change, make changes in a branch, uh, uh, every branch offices. So, uh, what I will do, I will just, uh, uh, provide particular instructions or commands from uh, from branch uh, from main office, uh, office through ro uh, remote login protocols and i can make ch i can uh, be able to make changes uh, in a particular uh, uh, in a particular place in the system so these protocols enables user to log in a system execute commands and perform various tasks as if they were physically present, uh, present at the machine means you can make many changes uh, you can update that system you can uh, perform various tasks and other things so uh, these are some common remote uh, login protocols ssh which is stands for secure shell rdp which stands for remote desktop protocol telnet VNC which stands for virtual network computing. So, we will discuss few of them. Uh, Telnet. Telnet it is the oldest and simple uh, pro, uh, simple remote login protocol. It allows users to access command line interface on a remote surface. Means there is a command line through uh, interface through which you can uh, give uh, commands on instructions to the uh, system which are remotely uh, located. It transmit, da uh, transmit data in a plain text making it less suitable for communication. Here there is a no encryption that's uh, it transmit data in a plain text that's why we cannot sense the confidential data through telnet because there is a no uh, uh, any secure shell through which uh, uh, we can transmit data securely. Then next uh, protocol is SSH which is which stands for secure shell SSH is the secure shell protocol for remote login and command execution. Through, uh, through secure shell, you can uh, remotely log into the other system which are located far from uh, you and uh, also make changes in that system. It provides in, uh, encrypted communication over network, preventing unauthorized access and protecting data during transmission means uh, here there is a encrypted communications means plain uh, he, uh, here encryption process is uh, uh, provided by secure shell where uh, data is converted into a complex code which ca cannot uh, understand by other parties that's why it is more secure prevent unauthorized access unauthorized access means a, a person who cannot uh, who don't have any uh, uh, username or password for that particular uh, 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 to access that particular data means like a hacker which uh, uh, which use uh, which try to uh, interrupt that uh, transmission of data and the pro uh, protecting data during the transmission means here uh, data passes in a secure shelf and in secure, uh, there is a secure layer that's why uh, uh, an, uh, any hacker cannot uh, uh, interrupt that uh, transmission next protocol is uh, uh, next protocols are file transfer protocols file transfer protocol is a standard network protocol used to transfer files from one host to another over the tcp based network 
these protocols are all related to file here you can transfer file from one system to another using file transfer protocol it allows user to upload or download files and perform other file related operations means if i want to send a uh, a file to the uh, system which is located in Mumbai. I can send that file through file transfer protocol. These are some common file transfer protocol FTP which stands for file transfer protocol SFTP which, uh, which stands for SHS, uh, SHH file transfer protocol FTFS which stands for FTP secure TFTP which stands for Tribal File Transfer Protocol. We will discuss some of them in detail. FTP which stands for File Transfer Protocol involves two separate channels for communication. One is a command channel and second is a data channel. A command channel is used to give commands or instructions to the, uh, re uh, to the system located remotely. Here you can uh, give command like to cre uh, create uh, directories, save files and you can get acknowledges through command channel uh, 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 and in data channel you are actually transferring a file through data channels means uh, here actual data transmission done in a uh, command channel you can only give instructions but in data channel you can transfer that fi particular file uh, through sender to receiver it operates in a clear text and data transfer including username and password here is uh, uh, here in ftp there is a no encryption process uh, whatever data you want to send to the uh, sender uh, as it is it sent to uh, uh, whatever whatever data you want to send to the receiver as it is data uh, transmit from sender to receiver there is a no encryption process that's why it is less secure and uh, when you transmit data there uh, you uh, transfer it uh, along with user uh, username and password means here uh, to uh, open that particular file username and password is required why it is required because you are transferring uh, this file to one system to another so there must be some user username and password uh, otherwise uh, anyone can access that file uh, in, in in middle of the transmission uh, and it is not encrypted then sftp ssh file transfer protocol which stands for ssh file transfer protocol or secure file transfer protocol in ftp there is a no encryption no any security layer is provided but in sftp there is a security la layer through which uh, encryption process is uh, occur at, uh, which uh, converts the uh, plain text into a complex code which uh, cannot understand uh, understand by third party it is secure and encrypted protocol used for transferring files over a secure shell connection it provides a secure alternative to traditional ftp it is more secure than ftp because it has a secure shell uh, thank you uh, we will discuss uh, next topic in next lecture